ground. Awesome. So, yay. If you could fake it like driving, looking over your shoulder, what I'll do is I'll insert that. <laughs> it's a puppy ride. <laughs> You have any questions, buddy, about tornadoes? You can't think of anything. Well, this car weighs seven tons, almost fifteen thousand pounds. See that big camera back there that's tied up? The big gray one? That's our IMAX camera. It weighs about 120 pounds. And where do you put it? We lift it up into the turret. See that gray thing right there? We lock it up in there and then we can film out the hatch. And then we can spin the turret around manually and keep our shot, you know, as we're filming the tornado. But how do you, how do you, how do you uh, camera yeah. we lift it it's really heavy so we got to either bench press it up and squat it down all manually we listen to this the whole time if we can get it to work that's more bird than a humpee with a dew point of 52 degrees the relative go. humidity was 47%. The wind was variable at 3 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.83 inches and falling. At the Shelby County Airport, it was sunny. The temperature was 73 degrees with a dew point of 49 degrees. The relative humidity was 42%. The wind was variable at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.84 inches. And These hydraulic pumps so great, it's taken to the ground so that the region won't go flying out. Yeah, we first put our flaps down on all the sides, and then our last ones we do is the spikes. And our spikes go in about 42 inches into the earth, and each one can hold 9,000 pounds of force, so it keeps us pretty stable. Columbus, Mississippi reported 73, and Nashville reported 63. I wonder why the military don't have this in there. <laughs> I don't think they go through tornadoes, <laughs> but... Well, the National Weather Service office in Birmingham reported tonight. No hazardous weather is expected in the city of Birmingham. Tonight, Birmingham reported 72 degrees. Hopefully we don't have to. This is Sean Casey in the green shirt. I help him as well. A lot of welding and fabricating with Kevlar. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't hear you. What did you say? What was your question? When are we going to go? I think we're done giving rides right now. Did you still win a ride or sign up for a ride? Oh, well, maybe if you can. I don't know, I think they're going to do some filming and then we got to go in and do a talk for the conference. Oh, okay. So, uh, well, we're a little late, but maybe after the conference we'll do a ride. A Dodge 3500, a Super Duty Turbo Diesel. Gotcha. And how much of that is left? <laughs> uh, the steering wheel. <laughs> we tore it down to just a frame. Yeah. Kept the engine and tranny. Okay. Everything else is all custom. How long did it take? About right around nine months. We um, oh, really? we overbuilt it the first time. Uh -huh. We made it too heavy, so our drive shaft and differentials were breaking. Oh, okay. And so we lightened it up on the off season with Kevlar and polycarbonate and got heavier duty differentials and it's perfect now. So we lightened it at about 4,000 pounds. Hey, thank you. What? I'm being relieved? Yeah, of your duties. My dirty duties?